Hello there, grade 2. For this activity, all you have to do is just to identify the digit in the given place value. So, for example, in this case, we have hundreds, tens, and ones. So, for the hundreds, or as a beginner, we can start at ones. For our ones, we have five. For our next place value, which is tens, we have two. And for the next place value, which is hundreds, we have so that is basically how you identify the value for each place value, okay? The digit for each place value, okay? So you start with the ones, para hindi tayo malito. To start with, as a beginner, we can start at ones, okay? So for that, you will not be confused. So for this activity, all you have to do is just to fill up the value of each digit by simply breaking them down and according to their place value over here we have hundreds tens and ones so for the hundreds we have the arrow which is five and since it since it is in hundreds it is safe for us to write five zero zero or five hundred and since the digit seven is in tens seven should be skipped count by ten so that's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. So, okay, 7, 0, 70. And for our ones, we have 9. All you have to do is to write 9 in our ones. And if you notice here above, we have a blank. 9 is already there given. 70 is already given. So what's missing is the value of 5, which is 500. That is how you make this activity. Okay, so for this activity, all you have to do is to be knowledgeable of the place value. So we should start with ones. Let's follow the proper color coding. We have ones. You have tens. And you have hundreds. Okay. We have in 671, the digit 7 is in the blank place. So if we are going to write that down, if you're going to write 6, 7, 1, according to their place value, you would notice that 7 belongs to what place? To the tens place. So we can now say that the digit 7 is in the tens place. Place. Okay, so if you are a beginner, I, ad I, I would advise you to make use of this process to get to the answer. So for this example, it is actually the opposite of what you did earlier, okay? What we did with the previous activity. So just to write down the place value again, following the proper color coding of the place value. Okay, and if you're going to write 928, sorry about that, 928. Okay, so it says here that the digit blank is in the hundreds place. Which digit is in the hundreds place? Where is the hundreds place here? The hundreds place is here. And what digit is in there? It's 9. Okay. So in this case, we can say that the digit 9 is in the hundreds place. So this is how you do the activity. Then again, if you are having a hard time with this activity, I would advise you to make use of this method. Okay, so that's it for today.